What's good, y'all? It's Emmanuel, and I'm coming back at y'all with another video. Today, we're talking about the event that happened at, or the tragedy that happened at Astro World, Astro Fest, whatever you want to call it. Um. So yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all seen some of the videos that you know some of the videos that surfaced, and. You know, some people are putting the blame, some of the blame on Travis. Some people are defending him. You know, there's always a, a side A and a side B to a story. And then there's always the truth. So today, that's what we're going to talk about. And we can't get to the truth without seeing the actual evidence. So, I'm going to show y'all some clips so let's roll the film Two hands to this guy. Two hands to this guy. Two hands up. Y'all two hands up. Y'all know what y'all came to do. Chase me. Let's go. presented themselves but from seeing the videos you know we can see something ain't right we can see not just from the atmosphere that the video gives off but the artists themselves and their reactions to the tragedy it's just you can tell just by looking at his eyes that he's not okay. That something is wrong, you know? And when we look deeper into the situation, we see that this was all part of the plan. And what I mean by that is, well, just let me show you the advertisement. All right, so looking at the flyer with the naked eye, it seems pretty harmless, but when we take a deeper look at it, we see the occultic resemblance we see the eyes on the hands we see the tunnel representing hell we see the pyramid even and then when we get to this clip we see the stage says see on the other side basically resembling hell and in the next clip we see right before all the chaos started happening this is what happened to the stage obviously resembling hell now in this next painting it's a uh, from the 14th century dante's inferno it's called the mouth of hell and we can see that the entrance of Astro World basically resembles the same thing. Now, when we take a closer look at it, we see how actually disturbing these images are. A post on his account referred to the event as a true dystopia, but when we see the definition, it means an imagined state or society in which there is great suffering or injustice, typically one that is totalitarian or post-apocalyptic. These practices correlate with satanic rituals, demonic practices, whatever you want to call them, it correlates with it. You know, whether you want to see it one way or another, whether you want to see it as a joke, or whether you just don't take it serious, it shouldn't be taken lightly at all. 
Like, that's just the fact of the matter. Um, it's really unfortunate what happened. Like, you know, some people weren't even there and they're over here talking about, talking about, you know, making fun of the people that are saying that it is demonic when it's like, like half of the people saying that weren't even there. But these aren't assumptions. These are facts. And, you know, it is a stretch, but in one of the other pictures, we see eight flames. Eight flames. And each flame apparently represented the sacrifice, aka the deaths, of the people who passed that night. Now maybe that's just a coincidence, but with the generation we live in today, you know, looking for signs, for symbols, looking at numbers, astrology, specifically numbers though, since that's what we're talking about right now, we see that eight flames, why are there specifically eight flames? And why is there specifically eight people that died that night? Which I believe that there was more, but there's eight deaths, apparently. Just something to think about. You know, regardless, these demonic presence, demonic practices, just shows us that there is spiritual wickedness, not just spiritual wickedness, just wickedness in the highest places, people with power. But it also proves to us that there is a God, there is a good God, which is really my point. Regardless of the matter, innocent lives were lost. They died in vain that night. And We can only pray for the family who lost their children that night. You know, who lost their children to sick-minded people like Travis Scott, like the majority of the music industry. Not all of them, but the majority. And the Kardashian Jenners. You know, this outcome could have easily been prevented. But we can only keep our eyes open from now on. You know, this is just one example of the wickedness that is to come. The wickedness that is already happening right now. Like, I really didn't even want to make this video, but, you know, someone has to say something about it, because too much censoring, too much blocking people's opinions, not just opinions, but not even proving, not even showing facts. So, you know, I just hope that some of y'all can understand, some of y'all can see what I mean that really isn't a joke. You didn't lose your life that night. You didn't die that night. So it's like, there's a reason why you don't take it serious. Cause that hasn't happened to you yet. Like, a kid 14 years old died that night. Like that's, that's insane. And the fact that Roddy Rich, not even Travis Scott himself, Roddy Rich had to give his funds to the people that died. You know, 
Slowly and slowly, slowly and slowly, our morals are dropping. And this just shows. Like people even making jokes out of this. Like. Oh no, man. But uh, I hope that I I showed y'all some today. I hope that none of y'all get offended. I really wasn't talking down on no one, but regardless of the matter. Um. Aside from that, thanks for watching the video. You know, share it, please like, you know, comment your opinions. I, w I would want to hear them. I'm open to it. But one thing I would mainly ask you is to share it. And, you know, to your friends, your family, their opinions. Because, you know, someone has to speak out on it. And, you know, I can't stay quiet no more. So yeah, if you stayed this long to watch, I really appreciate it, like, for real, you know, haven't posted in a minute, but I still appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for next video, I'll see y'all later.